The South Carolina Hall of Fame was founded in Myrtle Beach in 1973 to recognize and honor contemporary and past citizens who have made outstanding contributions to South Carolina's heritage, history, and progress. Arthur Middleton was a colonial era statesman and one of four South Carolinians to sign the Declaration of Independence. Middleton is one of the most important and influential South Carolinians in the run-up to the revolution. His legacy, I think, is one of tremendous self-sacrifice. Middleton is all in at a very early date and quite zealous. He was born June 26, 1742, to Charlestonian parents of English descent, whose surname would become synonymous with the low country aristocracy that formed the backbone of the state's early political elite. And like so many of his wealthy contemporaries, he was provided an English education, graduating from Cambridge and studying law at the Middle Temple. It's an interesting experience for people like Middleton and other South Carolinians who travel and study there, because on the one hand, I think it gives them a sense of, of cultural belonging. They're in many cases snubbed and viewed as colonials and uh, treated somewhat poorly in some, some cases. For someone like Middleton, that had to be a bit of an alienating experience. When he returned to Charleston in 1764, he married Mary Izzard, and the two lived on his family's plantation, known as Middleton Place. He quickly became involved in politics and was one of the leaders of the American Party in South Carolina. He succeeded his father as a delegate to the Continental Congress and subsequently signed the United States Declaration of Independence in 1776. That same year, he and William Drayton collaborated on the design of the Great Seal of the State of South Carolina, which was soon adopted. During the American Revolution, he served in the defense of the city of Charleston, as well as his family's massive estate. Middleton serves as an officer in the local militia. Charlestown is put under siege by the British for the second time as part of their southern strategy in 1780. And the town ultimately surrenders. And Middleton, along with several other South Carolinians, is actually captured as a prisoner of war and sent to St. Augustine, Florida. They endure somewhat harsh conditions and they're actually kept in captivity for about a year. After the war, Middleton declined a seat in Congress, preferring to retire to his home in Charleston. These South Carolinian patriots sacrificed quite a lot, and Middleton was one of them. And like other South Carolinian patriots, he returns home to find his plantation devastated. Arthur Middleton died on January 1st, 1787, and is buried at Middleton Place. <laughs>